a man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, encounters what he calls a zombie sighting when he sees a stationary figure stare at him without moving. Not even loud music or oncoming headlights are enough to make him step aside or respond. I'm pretty sure that this person has a major problem that they need to get help for, but this would still be beyond creepy to see late at night, especially considering the next driver might not be paying enough attention to swerve out of the way. A very sad situation indeed. Jeff Wesley is a paramedic whose YouTube channel gives us a glimpse into the frantic lives of emergency medical service technicians everywhere. Today, he must drive an ambulance full speed into the heavy rains, making his job more difficult than usual. The roads are slick and the driver visibility is very low. Every intersection is a serious gamble. Sometimes the roadways grow narrow and give cars a little difficulty pulling over. At one point, some local wildlife even veers into the ambulance's path at the last minute. Oh, come on, Doc. Jesus. <laughs> I missed it! I didn't hit it! <laughs> Despite all of this, Jeff Wesley gets to the scene quickly and is able to provide help. I just want to give a shout out to Jeff Wesley and all of the other EMS workers like him for their courage and service, as this video clearly demonstrates. Published by Colby and Ari in January of 2009, the description claims that this lost tape was discovered and shown with permission from the government to warn others. The tape features some teenage boys going to explore their school's basement. As they say, strange noises have been heard coming from the basement. An urban legend has it that a former student dwells there. Soon, they would discover the truth. After the boys wander around in the semi-darkness, they hear a rasping breath of an inhuman creature, and then they see it. <laughs> The creature on all fours attacks. The boys flee, but the footage rolls on. What could it be? A true beast or a student film gone horribly wrong? A light at the far end of a room is swinging by itself when all of the other lights are as still as can be. Now, before you tell me that it's under a vent, let me show you the same room from a different angle. Look all the way to the ceiling where the fluorescent light is grounded. No vents anywhere. So what's the deal here? Am I missing something major? Or is this light swinging on its own momentum when there's nothing to make it move? Zack from The Adventures of Zack and B is sure that a wild animal is in his attic. It's dark up there, so he takes the camera with him for light. The noise coming from his attic is unlike anything I've ever heard before. It sounds like a baleful combination of scratching, growling, and howling. <laughs> Zack doesn't bother going any deeper and I really can't blame him. Unfortunately for him, it sounds like something follows him on the way out. Well, I don't see anything, so let's, uh... Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. An unseen voice says don't, and I think it also says get out of here too. Obviously, this is a real human voice and not an animal after all, and whoever was making that noise remains a mystery. After setting up a camera in her home, YouTuber Kathy Nito turns out the light, and what comes after just might be a ghost. Watch for the white thing once Kathy is distracted. Oh, sorry, Do you see that? Kathy believes this is a ghost. Well, I don't think it's a bug, as it appears to be too large and chaotic to be an insect. I'm not sure if my first thought would jump to the paranormal. It looks more like a spider web or some other flying debris to me. Still, whatever it is, it's creepy. Do you have any ideas as to what this could be? A YouTuber named Herb Doggy is diving underwater when he sees a small cave that looks interesting. In less than a minute, he is being chased out by something that's not even human. A 
A giant moray eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase Herb Doggy away, though I'm not entirely sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are and if they really would chase someone away. I'd also really like to know if this was an electric eel or not, in which case I totally understand why Herb Doggy was in so much of a hurry to get out of there. A YouTuber in Central Texas named Dylan Dickerson stopped feeling safe from home years ago when he first heard these strange sounds in the sky in December of 2018. I hope you can hear that. What's especially scary about this video is that at times, it sounds like a scary voice. Now we're hearing them again. At other times, it sounds like something else completely. It just seems like they're always barking. Almost like a battle of some sort just beyond our galaxy. I still don't know what that is. As this video taken two and a half years later shows, the unexplained sounds in the sky have not gone away. If anything, they've become louder and more persistent, like it's evolving. I think these are real sky sounds caught on tape because the bird sounds up close and the sky noises are far away. Plus, two years is a long time to keep faking the same kind of video without much notice. So I believe in these scary sounds over Dylan's house. Do you? A doll that speaks is not mysterious, but a doll that speaks when it has no batteries certainly is. That's apparently exactly what this doll can do. If someone could please tell me what brand of doll this is and also translate what is being said here, then maybe we can help solve this mystery. <laughs> They examine the doll for a hidden battery compartment and ultimately find nothing. Build it and they will come, but maybe you don't really want them to come after all. Published by Grant Kopeck in October of 2020, something creepy calls this cornfield home. Captured on a ring camera, a homeowner is seen walking outside at night on the farm, but appears not to notice the enormous creature escaping from the cornfield in the background. As the man walks past, the large blurred figure moves from the cornfield toward a big garage to the left. It disappears appears behind some shadow in the background. Many in the comments think this is a ghost or an extraterrestrial, while others think it's simply a reflection from the man's jacket. Although it very well could be the latter, YouTuber Master of None offers some great advice for the farmer. Don't sleep ever again. If I lived beside that cornfield, I'd have to say I'd be doing the same thing. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over. You can see all that is left is a smoldering pile of ashes. I can't tell if his clothes were disintegrated as he was beamed into a ship or if he was simply disintegrated by an energy force field. This could be scripted, but the text in the bottom right and the police chatter both seem authentic, so maybe this video is real after all. If anyone understands police code and knows what they are saying in the background radio chatter, then please let me know. Maybe it can help us solve this strange video. Filmed in Canada, this footage has some wondering if this is real. 
hosted by TikToker Flamecatcher2 in short, it is very real but super rare. Popular Mechanics explains that they are produced by heat plumes stretching miles into the atmosphere and colliding. Only a few anomalies have been recorded prior to this eerie clip. In fact, over the last several years, there have been a number of sightings both in 2018 and 2019. As they become more prominent, scholarly papers investigate how they are formed. This is but one case of it being caught on video, and as some TikTokers thinking this is the most terrifying thing ever, Master Sloth Gaming asks, has anyone tried turning the world off and back on again? Now that's a valid question. It's almost 3 a.m. and Sean Tharp's girlfriend is heading out to work a late night shift. Soon she is calling her boyfriend, screaming about a man walking towards her. She claims the stranger was wearing no coat, in absolutely freezing cold weather, and came straight at her without a word. Sure enough, at approximately 33 seconds into this doorbell cam video, I can see a semi-transparent figure stomping towards her car at a high rate of speed, then it turns around and abruptly disappears. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then watch the street lamp get covered briefly by the person's hollow outline as a reference point. Something keeps coming into this creepy front yard out in the countryside, something from the edge of the woods. He's seen it once before and soon, he sees it again. It looks like an extra tall, extra dimensional creature with a single horse-like leg bent inward at the knee. The upper half looks like that of a man. It looks like it could maybe be a trick of the light from the single street light in his yard. However, his camera is relatively still when it happens. The creature moves left to right, but his camera isn't moving enough to blame it on the lighting in my opinion. Bill Ryan is the leader of Project Camelot, an underground organization tirelessly attempting to uncover secrets on everything, from alien life forms to time control. Since Project Camelot encourages members of top secret government organizations to blow the whistle on the most sensitive of state secrets, you can only imagine how many people want Bill Ryan gone. That's what makes this interview so creepy. While Bill Ryan calmly explains the inner workings of Project Camelot, a shadowy figure silently leans into the camera shot multiple times. That you can get kind of caught up in these questions forever and a day and never come out of that. Some people believe that this is a shadow messenger warning others not to come forward with their secrets. Other people think that this is a sign of constant surveillance on Bill Ryan because of what he knows. I personally think it just might be the reflection of a cameraman's arm. But let me know what you think is going on with this strange background figure. Think you have creepy neighbors? Think again. Posted to the WTF subreddit, Protomancer writes, Just someone slithering through my neighbor's yard in the middle of the night. That description about sums this clip up, but let's take a look at the Nest camera footage. A stranger is seen lying on its stomach on the ground outside this person's home. After a moment, he starts moving in what is well described as a slither. He could actually be crawling with the camera distorting the movements into something even creepier. Not that army crawling across your neighbor's yard is normal at all. Well, some redditors think the dude is just playing night crawlers, others think the guy is on something. One redditor, however, shares another possible theory from first-hand experience. Chortophonic writes, Quite a few years ago I had something similar happen, though I was several lawns away. The dude finally stopped on my lawn and we called 911 because he'd been caught with some other dude's wife. And it turns out her husband put a round in this guy. Um, I kind of hope it's one of the first two scenarios here. JP Videos is exploring a seemingly haunted abandoned house. When he gets some really scary stuff caught on tape, the place has fallen into a state of disrepair and it only gets creepier when they find rotten steps leading into the basement. All right, let's go down the uh, creepy spiral staircase. Oh, oh God. The mattresses look to be cleaner and newer than anything else down here. Creepy mattresses down here. It's like a partially finished basement, but it's random mattresses laying around. 
and the blinds are pulled closed like somebody has been sleeping here recently. Hopefully there are no strangers down here because a surprise encounter would probably not be pleasant. The basement stretches across many different rooms. JP is getting all of the hidden rooms on camera when some really scary stuff is caught on tape. These are my favorite type of explorers too, just abandoned houses, you know, seeing contents from the former owners and just trying to imagine what took place here. A lone crib on display in the center of the room gives him a nauseous feeling. But this, uh, okay, little creepy. Fastened around the top is a plank of wood with other pieces of scrap wood laying nearby. When tied over the top with a rope, this crib becomes more like a cage that is too small for even a toddler to stand in. Multiple mattresses in the corner create the impression that this building has been overtaken by numerous squatters. I seriously hope no one was left to fend for themselves in that crib. No food or water, hopelessly and cruelly trapped under these two boards. Ball lightning are luminescent phenomenons usually linked to thunderstorms. The rare anomalies have been recorded throughout history in various sizes, from the size of a pea to several feet wide. The following clip appears to capture this phenomenon. Published to YouTube by Roman Tregubov in August of 2016, the so-called lightning fireball was captured in Russia at the edge of a field. Stormy weather darkens the sky as the fireball moves slowly across the horizon. Surrounded by blue lights, the ball flares up randomly and disappears behind some tall trees but is still visible beyond, although some are sure this is ball lightning. YouTuber Jason W suggests an alternative theory in the comments, to which others agree. He writes, That's an arc of electricity going across two different phases on a power line. Not that weird, but pretty cool to witness as long as you're far away. The Redditor claims that there are no power lines in this area to validate this explanation, but again it's hard to tell from this distance. What do you think? Do you agree with Roman or Jason? Either way, this brilliant ball of light would be a crazy sight to encounter. For a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Fanatic is fishing in Louisville, Texas, when he snags something so rotten it makes him gag. Inside of the bag is a scary discovery that forces Fanatic to call the police. And I pulled the bag up and it had some type of bones in it. I don't know if they're animal bones or human bones or if they're... The entire 911 conversation is recorded, and a police officer shows up to investigate, so there is absolutely no doubt that this video is legit. They take the bags of bones away for evidence, and as far as I know, the lab results have never been made public. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.